lot to talk about here, so let's bring in Martha Raditz, who's in Washington, where she'll be hosting this week, this morning. Martha, good morning. So I'm just curious to get your views on this as somebody who's covered international affairs for a while. How should we think about this Ukraine story? The president is now calling it a witch hunt. I suspect a lot of people might look at this and say, you know, we've heard Democrats in the media hyperventilate about the president's behavior before. Is this time different? Well, I, I think everyone has heard the president hyperventilate about this. They've heard the Democrats hyperventilate about this. I'm sure you'll just hear President Trump continue to say it's a witch hunt, it's a witch hunt, so you'll get that echo. But when you look at this and what happened, and that the inspector general's office said this was urgent and credible, this could go a bit further and take up some attention in the coming weeks. We have also heard President Trump tell our own George Stephanopoulos that if somebody had dirt on say Norway, I think he said, uh, then uh, he would take it. So I, I think we're going to be looking at this for a while and see if it goes much further and whether or not we get any sort of a transcript from that telephone call. That seems to be key. And if we get a transcript, a question will be, was there some sort of quid pro quo here involving U.S. military aid to the Ukraine? But let me switch now to another big story that you've been following all week. There was a military parade in Iran this morning, and the president of that country during the parade warned about the presence of foreign forces in the region. This comes as the Pentagon is set to send more troops to the region, to Saudi Arabia specifically. That's where the Iranians are said to be responsible for that devastating series of drone attacks last week on oil facilities in Saudi Arabia, which disrupted global oil supplies. You've got the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, on the show this morning. He's called that attack an act of war. So is that where we're heading here, war with Iran? I don't think anybody from the administration right now wants to go to war with Iran. You've heard lots of rhetoric. They have presented uh, no evidence about these attacks. And Mike Pompeo uh, falls short of saying that Iran actually launched the missiles, although senior officials will tell us Iran actually launched the missiles. And those troops we're sending to Saudi Arabia, those will be in a defensive position. We are sending air defenses. We are not sending uh, troops on any sort of offense at this point. So in many ways, the administration has really dialed this back. The big question is, if Iran keeps firing missiles, if Iran keeps firing drones, then what do they do? That is the question, because things could ratchet up quite easily from here. Martha, thank you. I know you're going to be all over this story this morning. I want to remind everybody to tune into this week, later this morning, right here on ABC, when Martha goes one-on-one, -on -one, as we said, with the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. And then this morning, there is is this Sam Donaldson and George will return for a special remembrance of our Koki Roberts. It's all coming up on this week later this morning right here on ABC. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.